Martha Stewart recently revealed a surprising insight into Ryan Reynolds' personality, hinting that the humorous, goofy persona he's known for may be more of a crafted public image than an authentic reflection of who he really is. Stewart shared her perspective during an appearance on Built Reward's November game show Rent Free where she joined host anchor Jane, the company's founder and CEO, to discuss which celebrities people would most enjoy spending time with. Reynolds, widely adored for his quick wit and lighthearted demeanor, naturally came up in the conversation, given his reputation for bringing humor to both his roles and his public appearances. However, Stewart, who knows him personally, hinted at a less zany, more serious side to the actor that fans rarely see. While playfully guessing which celebrities might top the list as the most fun to hang out with, Stewart threw Reynolds' name into the mix, though with an unexpected twist. He's probably on the list just cause he covers himself up in his movies and you don't see his face. She joked, alluding to Reynolds' superhero role in Deadpool where he spends most of the film in a full body suit and mask. Though her comment was in good humor, it hinted at her own perspective on Reynolds that the actor might not be as naturally funny or lighthearted as his on-screen and social media persona suggests. Stewart's commentary about Reynolds sparked laughter, but she didn't stop there. She continued guessing potential top contenders for the list, bringing up Hollywood icons Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Both are famously charming and humorous in their own ways, and Stewart admitted that she would love to hang out with either of them. I'd like to hang out with those guys, she said with a grin, clearly entertained by the thought. However, she was informed that neither Pitt nor Clooney made the cut, which led to an amused reaction from Stewart. She did, however, mention that she finds Clooney to be really nice to hang out with a comment that hinted at her personal experience and familiarity with Hollywood's Alisters. While her guesses of Pitt and Clooney didn't align with the actual top picks, Stewart remained confident about another celebrity she thought would make the list her close friend, Snoop Dogg. Stewart and Snoop have a long-standing friendship that's become iconic in its own right, characterized by a fun, unexpected dynamic that has brought them together for various television specials, cooking shows, and joint projects. Known for his relaxed, easygoing nature and sense of humor, Snoop seemed like a natural fit for the list of most fun celebrities, and Stewart appeared certain that his name would be in the rankings. As the conversation went on, she shared her own top picks for fun people to spend time with, ranking Taylor Swift as her number one choice, followed by Snoop and George Clooney. Stewart praised Swift as sweet, adding a personal touch to her endorsement of the superstar singer. Jane was taken aback that Stewart didn't put Reynolds higher on her list, given the actor's reputation as one of Hollywood's most entertaining and personable figures. This prompted Stewart to elaborate on her view of Reynolds' humor. He's a good actor, she said hinting at her belief that much of Reynolds' humor is a carefully crafted performance rather than a natural inclination. He can act funny, but he isn't funny, she continued, adding with a chuckle, maybe he can get to be funny again. Recognizing the potential for her words to be taken out of context, Stewart added playfully, I'm going to get in trouble he's my neighbor, highlighting the lighthearted nature of her remarks and acknowledging the friendly bond she shares with the Reynolds' lively household. The friendship between Stewart and Reynolds runs deeper than casual neighborly interactions the actor and his wife, actress Blake Lively, live nearby in the affluent town of Bedford, New York, where they own a $2 million estate just a stone's throw from Stewart's expansive property. Bedford, known for its serene landscapes and secluded charm, is a haven for celebrities and high-profile individuals seeking privacy and a retreat from the bustling city life. Stewart's estate spans 153 acres, and is well known for its beautiful greenhouses, fruit orchards, and ample space for a variety of animals, including horses and donkeys. Her property has become an iconic part of the community and is a hub for gatherings where Stewart frequently entertains friends and neighbors. Stewart's relationship with Reynolds and Lively began several years ago when the couple moved into the Bedford neighborhood before they were even married. In a 2014 interview with HuffPost, Stewart shared how she first got to know the Hollywood couple, recalling how Lively and Reynolds would visit her home regularly. They started to come over, not to borrow sugar, but just as friends. Stewart explained, highlighting the genuine friendship that blossomed between them over time. Since then, they've remained close, with Stewart often hosting the couple at her renowned property for dinners and social events. Interestingly, Stewart's latest comments add a new layer to her friendship with Reynolds. While the actor is widely regarded for his charmingly sarcastic sense of humor frequently on display in his films, interviews, and social media interactions with fans and his wife Stewart's insight suggests a more nuanced side to him. Reynolds is known to craft his comedic persona with a blend of self-deprecating humor, wit, and often a touch of mischief, particularly in the playful jabs he exchanges with Lively on social media. Yet, as Stewart hinted, there might be a quieter, more introspective side to Reynolds that rarely comes through in the public eye. Stewart's comments raise the question of whether his trademark humor is a strategic element of his career rather than a reflection of his natural disposition. 
The friendship dynamic between Stewart and Reynolds seems to be built on a shared understanding, mutual respect, and a dash of humor. Stewart's remarks, though playful, offer a rare glimpse into how she sees Reynolds not merely as the wisecracking superhero or charming prankster that fans know him to be, but as a talented actor who, in her words, acts funny. Her commentary underscores a certain appreciation for his ability to embody different personas, even if those personas don't fully capture who he is behind the scenes. Stewart's playful critique may even hint at a sense of admiration for the way Reynolds has built his brand, embracing humor while maintaining a degree of personal mystery. Their neighborhood, Bedford, serves as the backdrop for this unique friendship, offering a sense of tranquility and privacy where high-profile figures like Stewart and Reynolds can build authentic connections away from the spotlight. Known for its scenic charm and exclusivity, Bedford is a community where celebrities enjoy a slower pace, interacting as neighbors first and foremost. Stewart's comments provide an endearing look at the subtle dynamics of her friendship with Reynolds, reminding fans that even in the world of celebrity, relationships can have surprising depth, layers, and a touch of good-natured teasing.